going on, going thing. Hi guys, Techstuff here and today I'm going to show you how I can make voice calls in Telegram. So if you're new to this channel and want to learn more about Telegram or other program programs, consider subscribing to this channel and yeah. So let's get started now. So as you can see, if you call someone, the other person needs to accept or decline by swiping left or right. And if the person accepted the call, you can see these five emojis and if they are the same on both sides then that means that the call is 100% secure and is encrypted and no one can listen to it except obviously both of you and as you can see on the left side we got the iOS version and on the right side we got the Android version so there's obviously a little bit of a difference in the look here after the call is over, you can rate the quality, so if it was good, obviously, rate it 5 stars, so if it was very good, so yeah. Now I'm gonna show it in practice, and yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how to accept and make calls in Telegram, on the mobile version, so on tablet, or obviously smartphone, so it doesn't matter, it's the same on both. And yeah, now I'm gonna get a call. And so obviously if you get a call then it will look like this. And obviously you could decline or you could accept it. I'm just gonna decline it now. And then it will also show you here that you got the call and if you accepted it or if you declined it. And yeah, so now I'm gonna call it back. You can just click on here or you could just go to the contact and then click on the icon here. So as you can see, we have a person accepted the call and now I could just decline the call again or, or just mute myself here, obviously, so the partner wouldn't hear me. And I could also just go back to text and the call would still be active. So I could swipe down and here I would see the call. And then I could just go back. Or I could also just end the call quick. So as you can see, now the call is ended. And now I can also rate the sound quality. And yeah, in the pa past tests, Quality was pretty good, so I will give that a 5 and OK. So, and yeah, as you can see, here's the time how long the calls were and if I accepted them or not. And if you don't like to be called, you can also just go to the options. So, click on these three bars here, then settings. privacy and security calls so right now it's everybody but you could obviously also just select my contacts or nobody right now I'm gonna select my contacts because I don't want to call, get called by everybody but you can also allow some certain users that may might not be in your contacts or you could also just never allow a certain user even if it is in your context or something like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously you can call someone that where you don't have a number of a person but the username as long as they have the settings on everybody or have you saved as a context but obviously without number. So that's pretty nice in my opinion. So. You can also see your calls, so I'm just going to go back now. And you can also see your calls on the calls tab, so that's right here. So calls. And as you can see, here are my calls and the ones I accepted or the ones I declined. And obviously I just could call back now again or I just tap here and when my contacts 
contacts put open so yeah that's very nice so yeah if this video helped you consider subscribing to my channel and also please drop a like